In this video, we're going to be using Shannon Soap's Iberia and the Feather SS Shavette Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back, and welcome in, welcome in. We have a great one for you today, I believe. We also have some giveaways to announce, so stay tuned for that today. We're going to be using Shannon's Slash Iberia, and I say slash because this is a collaboration with the Razor Company. And don't forget, if you order something from the Razor Company, use promo code IMCDB and you will help the channel. At least half the proceeds I get from any affiliate income for that will go for gift cards for you all that I will be uh, giving away. So thank you if you do. Anyway. Shannon's Iberia is really, really nice. This is three ounces for $9.99, and on our cost chart there, that is $3.33 an ounce, which is a good price. This is a beautiful scent. I'll put the scent description for you on the screen right there. This is inspired by one of the Creed fragrances, but I can't remember which, but it is on the screen. It is a very nice scent. Scent strength may be just a little bit below medium. Um, it could be a little stronger, but I do love the way it smells. It smells fantastic. This is in their Chupacabra base, which is phenomenal. I'll put the ingredients for you right there. This is a really, really excellent soap that comes at an excellent price. I always love using Shannon's and I wanted to use this one again today because I never got a chance to use the splash last time. So I got the splash after the soap. This is a beautiful scent and I absolutely love it. Great job, Shannon's and the Razor Company. The razor for today is the Feather SS Shavette type razor and I have the Feather uh, Professional blade in it. Remember, if you're gonna buy this particular Shavette type razor, make sure you shop around because I've seen it anywhere from $69 all the way up to $129. I suggest you shop around and find the best price. I'll put a link for you below for Amazon. I think it's $99 right now, but my suggestion, look on eBay, look all around and see if you can get the best price for this razor. Let's go ahead and start with giveaway winners for last week before we get into it here. And the giveaway winners are, because there were two, I gave away $25 gift company from the Razor Company, and also the Razor Company kicked in another $25 gift card. The first winner was a Perba. So a Perba, uh, and I hope I'm saying your name correctly, sir, contact me, cdb at imcdb.com. Just send me your email address and I'll get that gift card to you. And also, B. Lou, B. Lou, congratulations, send me your uh, email address to cdb at imcdb.com and I will send you your gift card too. And B. Lou is a Patreon supporter, so thank you so much, B. Lou, for that support. I really appreciate it. Congrats to both of you gentlemen, and we'll be given another two gift cards, two $25 gift cards away during the shave today, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's miss the face and get going. I hope you all are having a great day. I'm gonna try as best I can to shave with my right hand. I don't know if it'll be awkward because it's still a little bit uh, tender and so we're gonna try to lather up here and just see how it goes and if it hurts too much we'll just simply abort you know if something doesn't feel right folks you know don't be afraid to abort if necessary we, we have a great lather today with Shannon's Shannon's is one of those brands that for me is super easy to lather it's priced right they're not trying to extract every penny for, from your wallet which I appreciate I think we all do right now don't we <laughs> but you get a very good quality lather uh, for a very good price. And this scent is just phenomenal. I think Jason, uh, you know, commissioned this scent from them. He came up with it and it is a great one. So thank you, Jason from the Razor Company for doing that. His collaborations, I'd say 98% of them have been phenomenal. So he's got a good nose or at least one that agrees with the type of scents that I agree with. And so, when I see those collaborations or when I see where he's commissioned an artisan to make a scent, usually it's pretty good. I think the only one I didn't like so far was 13. But uh, otherwise, I've had a really good string of luck with uh, the TRC soaps that he's had made. So hopefully that luck will continue into the future because I know he's making a lot more. All right. All right. Let's 
rinse our hand off here and dry it off and make sure we're ready to go. And hopefully we can wield this blade properly with this bum wrist, but you know, that remains to be seen. We just have to plug away and do the best we can. All right, here we go. Again, Feather Professional is the blade. And a reminder, I will link all the products below for you, the ones that are available at least. Let's see how we do. That doesn't feel so bad because the wrist is primarily straight there. So not bad at all so far. Not bad at all. Let me wipe my hands off. Got a little soap on it. I really love using the, um, this Shavet type razor. I say Shavet type because Dovo created the first Shavet and I believe the word Shavet might actually belong to Dovo. Um, so this is Shavat type, meaning it uses a disposable blade, essentially. That's what, what it means. Just going to try to gently grab that little piece up there. Oh, yeah. That feels great. And by the way, folks, you can also use the Schick Proline blades uh, for this razor. If you like Schick Prolines, then use those. You can use the Kai if you prefer. Um, you don't have to use the feather blades and the feather shavette if you don't want to, but you certainly can. Uh, I think the Razor Company sells the Schick Proline blades, which are very good blades, very smooth, very nice. I tend to use the Feather Professional just because I have a bunch of them, and so I'm, you know, I have a big stock of them. But the Schick Proline blades are very, very good. Yeah, and that is nice and smooth. Very, very nice. First pass on that side and today we'll keep it keep it to uh, two passes which is typically that's been working pretty well honestly um, let's see if I can straight yeah okay I can pull with my fingers it kind of hurts my hand a little bit to do too much all right yeah that feels beautiful very nice indeed these blades are really really good for me some people don't like the Feather Pro and Feather Professional or, or Feather has uh, three or four different types of blade. There's one called a guard, there's one called soft something, there's one called professional, there's one called super. Super being sort of the most aggressive of the bunch. It is thicker, but to me the super blades were never super, super smooth. I want a sharp and smooth blade and the, the super blades for me just don't feel quite as smooth as the regular professional for me you you may disagree that's entirely okay like i said in the old throwback video the other day it's a, okay to agree to disagree you know we could have different opinions on things and still remain friends uh, i put up a throwback video yesterday on mitchell's wolf hat from year eight years ago and it was about uh so Tiki Bar Soap, when they were around, and by the way, they didn't go out of business due to lack of business. They got out of business because she moved and uh, it wasn't, see there I was stretching inappropriately, pulling up here when I should be pulling down here. Pay attention to that folks. Sometimes I get talking, I'm not paying attention. But anyway, she moved and sort of re-careered. Um, it wasn't due to lack of business, but the point that I was making in that video was Tiki Bar Soap, Amanda based her formula on Mitchell's Wolf Fat. Only she put some additional stuff in it. Um, and for me at that time, it was easier to lather, easier to use, and it had great sense. And so, uh, you know, I was making the point that, hey, there's plenty of soaps now that have lanolin and so on. And that was always the key to, that is the fat in the fat, lanolin. Otherwise for me, Again, for me, it just wasn't a, it's a special soap because it's been around forever, you know. But in terms of ease of use and things that make it a very appealing soap across the board, even for new people, I didn't think it was a, you know, uh, an appealing soap in that regard because a lot of people struggle with it. And for me, this is just my personal um, standard. If a soap is very finicky to lather, see, I want new people in here every day. I don't want people struggling with lathering. And if a soap is finicky to lather, which Mitchell's wool soap, Mitchell's <laughs> wool soap still can be, to me that's not a great soap if, if people are challenged to lather it or if, or if it puts off new people. Uh, does it do everything you need it to do? Sure, but so does Arco. <laughs> you know. 
So in my opinion, it, it's a great classic soap because it's been around forever. It is beloved and a lot of people really love it. But sometimes when people say it's better than all these other ones that are far, far easier to use, far, far easier to deal with, smell better, um, you know, I, my personal feeling is it's not. But it will absolutely get the job done. And when you learn to lather it, and not everybody has problems, but some people do, it's a very good soap. Um, it will definitely do what you need it to do. But the key to Mitchell's Wool Fat, and the reason they called it the fat, was lanolin. And many soaps have lanolin today, so it's, it's, not, really, uh, it's not really a big deal, in my opinion. Again, we can do, disagree to agree. But Williams is one of the, excuse me, Williams. But basically Mitchell's Wall Fat is the Williams <laughs> mug soap of Europe, although it is better than Mitchell's. It is, I can even speak. This is how bad this is. Um, Williams mug soap in the United States is kind of like Mick Mitchell's in Europe, but I will say Mitchell's Wall Fat is better than Williams in my opinion. But anyway, there's many, many soaps that are just far easier to use. And that's why, um, I cooled off on it because I'm like, eh, you know, so many people struggle. They're asking me questions about it. I'm like, just get a stuff that's easy to lather, you know, <laughs> or, you know, spend the time to learn to lather it. But if it has that sort of, um, learning curve, I don't know that, you know, it makes it great. Um, you know, just my opinion. Again, we can agree to disagree. I've been babbling a lot today and I'm slow. And so the, time of the video is probably going to be more than normally would be. Oh, that's kind of odd. Let me see if I can stretch this way. A little bit challenging, honestly. The stretching part is, was more challenging than using the razor. Let's just see if I can push through this. Oh, by the way, I forgot to announce the giveaway. So this time what I would like you to do is uh, just put TRC below. I'll put it right there for you. TRC below. And next week, we will draw two more $25 gift cards uh, for you folks. I will buy one, and then the Razor Company is providing one. So thank you so much to the Razor Company for providing that. The Razor Company really gives back a lot, and I really appreciate that. I try to give back as much as I can because I appreciate you all, and the Razor Company does too. So thank you so much, TRC. Appreciate that. And clap our hands. This is a little bit more difficult than it ordinarily would be for me because this hand just isn't exactly right. But we are, uh, we're pushing through it. We're pushing through it as best we can. Ugh. All right. Got a little lather on the side of the scales there. It's rinsing that off. But we're doing okay. A little bit more difficult. But that's okay. There's plenty of people who have mobility problems with their wrists, uh, their hands shake, and they, they, they can execute shakes perfectly. So I don't know what I'm whining about here. <laughs> so, you know, as I always say, if I can do it, you can do it. And there's plenty of people that have all sorts of challenges and they execute perfect straight razor shapes every single time without fail. So I shouldn't be sitting here whining about a little bit of slight discomfort in my wrist when those guys do it day in day out flawlessly so that's what we need to do too is just press on and persevere and that's exactly what we're going to do we're almost finished here so no worries no worries oh man i tell you what this is a great scent and a great soap to me you know for the price here just so good. And really, this soap is as good as pretty much any soap at any price, honestly. The quality of the leather is first rate. It's got skin food in it if you want it. I don't need it, but it's very, very good. And the scent is phenomenal. And that, <laughs> that I really appreciate. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned.
And all right, we are back and off camera we did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no staining, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we tailed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Shannon's slash TRC Iberia. This is a beautiful soap at a beautiful price. I really enjoyed it. And don't forget, use promo code IMCDB if you shop at the razor company. And thank you if you do. We also used today the Feather Professional Shavette Type Razor, which is fantastic. I just suggest that you shop around when you look for this razor because again, the price varies wildly. Check on eBay, check on various places. If it's 129 or so, that's at the high end. If it's 69, that's the right price or at least a very good price, 99 being the middle. So just make sure you shop around for this one if you're interested. We used our uh, Lancaster Razor Rocks brush soaking mug and inside is the Razor Rock 400 brush and I want to touch on uh, Mitchell's Wolf Fat one more time because I don't want to be misunderstood on this. The reason that I compare Mitchell's Wolf Fat to Williams Mug Soap is over the 10 years that I've been doing this, I've gotten more complaints, uh, questions about lathering. The two top soaps that I've ever had uh, messages for in terms of volume of messages, travel lathering is Williams Mug Soap and Mitchell's Wolf Fat. So both are known to be finicky to some. Mitchell's is a far better soap in my opinion, but I just want to be clear about that. That's why I said Mitchell's Wolf Fat is basically the European uh, Williams Mug Soap because I've gotten tons and tons and tons of messages over the years with people struggling. And that's a reason why I'm personally not the biggest fan of it, especially for new people. It is a good soap, but honestly, modern formulas contain all the things that Mitchell's uh, contain and then some. Where you do get an advantage is it's very hard, so it's a very good value. So there's definitely an upside to it. I never want to say it's a bad soap because it's not. I still own it, but uh, things have come a long way since that time and it shows, believe me, especially in ease of use. Uh, we're going to close it out today with Shannon Soap's Iberia. I've never gotten a chance to use this and I wanted to use this today. And one of the things about Shannon's though is when you get that, it's the aftershave is never never very high up on the bottle, which I wish it was. We could fill that up a little bit more, give us a little more value. We're all looking for value right now, but this smells great. Very nice. Of course, I could use alcohol in this too, quite frankly, because I just like alcohol in my splashes. I like that traditional element, but it smells good. And that is the main thing. And thank you so much, folks, for joining me today. I hope I haven't blabbed on for too long. I really appreciate you for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.